Hi everyone, Dr. Linda Kramer is me. Okay, today I'm going to be raw. Today I've got no pretense. Today I am you. Everybody's struggling. The energy at this point is going crazy. I generally wake up of a morning when I lie in bed, I do all my daily affirmations. I am's. I am strong. I am happy. I am content. I am peace. This morning I woke up to the phone ringing at six o'clock. I will tell you it's now 8.04 a.m. on the 1st of October 2021. For the past two hours, <clears throat> I've been in damage control with people ringing me, saying that they are getting attacked energetically. So today's video is about how this happens, why it happens, and how to get rid of it. <laughs> I'm going to be raw, guys. I'm still in my pyjamas <laughs> because I haven't even had breakfast yet because I want to get this done straight away. My energy today is so depleted. It's virtually non-existent. So let's see how we go today because today is a special one for you guys. I'm going to show you, <clears throat> sorry, I'm still waking up here, um, consent, how to clear out all this negative energy around me. I'm going to realignment of the energies. What the hell does that mean? realignment of our energies and then I'm going to finish it off with a pep talk we all need a pep talk so stay tuned okay so first one is I did a video the other day my last video um how to gain consent or something I called it because I'm not thinking this morning hello at least I'm honest and raw with yous right please appreciate that um <clears throat> There are people out there who don't want to give consent. They don't want to be healed. They don't want to change the routines or the behaviours that they're currently in. Because ultimately, we all have what's called a survival mode within our neuroplasticity of our brain. What that means is that <clears throat> we get into this routine where our brain says, you're surviving, you're financially okay, you're doing a good job, why change? Why change? So there's a lot of people out there stuck in that rut because it's their safety net, it's their security blanket or they just feel that they're not capable of doing something else or asking for a promotion. <clears throat> so, or let's just go there. They don't want to heal their injuries. I know a lot of people who are sick at the moment and they say to me, oh my God, I want to get better. But at the end of the day, if we're hanging on to any sort of negative energy, and I'll explain that, they don't want to get better. If you're a victim mode person where you like getting comfort and support from all your family and you like ringing people up and saying, oh my God, I'm feeling sick today. We're attracting in all that love, all that support, all that emotional goodness from other people instead of creating it ourselves. So we rely on other people to make our lives improve. That's what victims do extremely well well so they don't <clears throat> they don't want to get healed emotionally or physically because they they feel better when somebody else is helping them out okay they're victim modes straight down the line okay so we've got to do consent so today the first thing I want to do is you guys watching this today <clears throat> if you want this to work, please give me consent to do what I'm going to do. Because I'm going to do a few things for you today, okay? Keep watching. Okay. So all you've got to do is say, I give Linda consent to do this on my behalf. I allow Linda to do this for me today. I say yes that Linda 
with her healing today, this cleaning out, this realignment of energies and also the pep talk that I'm going to do, I give her permission to do this on my behalf. Okay? <clears throat> so the first one is consent. And I hope that you all just said yes. I, Linda, give consent that today whatever I do for Linda is going to work. So mote it be. Okay? <clears throat> so let's get to a cleaning out. Okay. My energy right now, I'll tell you some of the things that I'm feeling. I'm feeling like there's a tidal wave coming. I can feel it off in the distance and it's just like coming towards me. Some people are getting paranoia. Oh my God, well, I'm getting watched. They could be, by the way. <laughs> do, 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 do. Some people are feeling like their whole heads are just like <whistles> imploding. What the hell is happening with this energy? Other people, all these things are going wrong for them. My car right now today on the 1st of October 2021, my car is presently at the mechanic. Huh, weird that. <clears throat> okay weird because I usually tell my car how great it is okay but yes we do have to look after it and maintain it and that's what I'm doing so you know I got up at six o'clock this morning because my phone was ringing because everybody's in meltdown everybody's feeling this energy and it is coming down like imminence it's in imminent there's some sort of oh my god I just feel this you know when um <clears throat> Uh, let me just go there with an example. I actually said a good one yesterday, but my brain's still not working. Hello, I'm raw and honest this morning. Um, you know when you're waiting for something and they say, yes, it's coming, like a parcel? You're waiting on a parcel to come, so you're sitting at the door. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? And you feel this excitement when you hear a car coming up the street. <gasps> it's coming. <laughs> it's sort of that. Okay, so we're feeling it in a lot of different ways. Okay, so the first thing is we've got to identify what it is that we're feeling. Is it normal for us to have this reaction? Because it is a reaction because it's energy, emotion, okay, reaction. So you've got to identify. Today I'm feeling like I'm getting attacked from all sorts. I'll tell you some of my symptomology. I've got a pains down my arms. I'm cold. This morning I'm cold. Okay, Yes, it is a cold day here in Brisbane, but I'm cold all over, even knowing I've still got my Ugg boots on with two pairs of socks, but my feet are cold. So that's one of the things that I can identify. Is this normal for me? No. And that's not normal that I'm not cold. And I know that when I do energy work, I usually heat up. So I, I'm identifying what it is that I'm feeling, this emotion, this reaction that I'm getting from this external force that's coming down on me, okay? So I don't know what your symptomologies are, but have a look. You may have anxiety, as anxiety. You may have pains in your legs or tingles in your toes. You may just have this feeling of paranoia. So you've got to identify what it is so then our brain can say, okay, this Whatever that symptom is, you are not welcome here. Okay? So this is how we clear it out. Now, I'm going to do this for you. But watch this again and change the words to how you would say it in your day. Okay? Now, I'm sitting here in my office this morning. It's now 8.13 a.m. So I'm sort of relaxed here in my green chair. <clears throat> So what do we do? We sit here nice and calm and we identify that feeling, that symptom that's not normal. What is it? That paranoia. Okay? And how do we clear it out? <clears throat> we say it like this, okay? My name is Linda and I call out these behaviours, feelings, emotions and energies. You are not welcome to be on me. I give you no permission and no consent. You must leave immediately. You have no right and no permission to attach to my 
mind, body, soul, spirit or energy field. I cover all five. So mind, it can't attach to my mind and give me thoughts. Body, I don't want these tingles. <coughs> Nick off. <coughs> mind, body, soul. My soul is eternal. I do not give you the right or permission to attach to my soul in an ethical place. Mind, body, soul, spirit. My spirit condemns you for being on me today. And my energy field today, you got no right to be in my aura. Get the hell out of my aura. For my aura is good loving energy. And you are not because you're making me feel like crap today. So nick off. So <clears throat> when I do myself, my aura is only a couple of feet wide, right? So then I go to my house. So I go to my house. My house is my lawful property. Any energy that I have not given consent to, you must now neck off. You have no right, no permission to be in my house. Wall to wall. Back wall to front wall. Front corner to back corner. Back corner to front corner. So it's like a cross going across my house. Any energy in here that I have not consented and I've given no consent to, to um, permission to be here, you are now evicted. Get out of my house. You have no right to attach to my house for I am the lawful owner. Nick off and get out of my house. <clears throat> I sometimes swear, by the way. <clears throat> then when I've done my house, I'll go to my whole yard. So if you can imagine a square yard, Front yard to backyard, side fence to the back fence, other side fence, back corner to the front corner, front corner to the back corner. Any energy in here must now leave. You have no right, no permission to get out of my house, get out of my yard. Your energy is permitting, forbidden to be in my yard. Nick off, get the hell out. F word comes in handy, okay? You have no right, no permission to attach to my mind, body, soul, spirit or energy field, my house or my yard or my car, my daughter or my cat. Nick off. Get the hell out of here. So now everything is energy. Remember, guys, we've got to remember our cup is always full. When we get rid of energies, we've got to bring back in energies to re reclaim that balance right so we sit here and we say at like a prayer now this is how i say it please make it your own heavenly fathers in heaven thank you so much i am but a mortal humble being at your feet please give me the hum um the respect and the love that i deserve come down and fill me with your white loving energy fill my mind body soul spirit and energy field with your beautiful white loving feeling I want to feel your compassion, your understanding, your forgiveness. Most of all, I want to feel your mercy of God and your love. Fill up this space with your bright, luminous, white, loving energy. All the goodness of the universe, I allow permission to come down and fill my mind, body, soul, spirit and energy field. Please fill my house with your loving, white, universal energies. Spread that out into my yard like a crystallized, um, sparkling, fluorescent, white love. Every corner, from the back corner to the front corner, front corner back to the back corner, like a diamond, and I shoot it up into the sky. Beautiful, white, loving energy. And then from the corners of my yard, I also cast it down under the ground because negative energy does come in from below, remember? So now where my ground is, I've got this diamond going up and I've also got a diamond going down. So the diamond and the diamond going up to the ground level, I've now got this diamond, pure white loving energy surrounding my house. Nobody else can get in here. <clears throat> Any negativity at all, you are cast out. You are forbidden to be here for I am the lawful owner of this house. I don't know about you, but now I'm feeling pretty damn good. My energy is now increasing. So now, how do I keep this energy going? 
well, now we have to raise up our vibrations and live this energy that we're getting or this white universal light love. So I've got a couple of tools here. One is my Tinshi Bells. Tinshi Bells, guys, these are brass. They use them in Tibet. I only bring in good loving white energy today. Oops. Boom. So if you've got your tinshi bells, you can use your tinshi bells. You may have yourself a singing bowl. Okay, I put salt in mine. Look, it's all going green from the salt. So here's a singing bowl. I bring in all the white loving energies of the universe today. Fill my heart and soul with your kindness, your love, your appreciation, your generosity and your um, love. So get yourself a singing bowl if you've got one, okay? Another thing that you may have are, where have I put them? Oh, here they are. The 528 tuning fork. So I've got my 528 tuning fork. 528 tuning fork. <clears throat> this is the human's natural healing. So if you do have injuries, if you do have pains, put this near you. And the best thing is put it near your water. Put it into a cup of water when it's doing its thing. And then drink that water because water retains energy, remember? And also, water retains memories. So if you've got a cup of water, which I didn't prepare, because, oh, hello, I'm still half asleep here. You get yourself a glass of water, tune your fork, put it into the water, and it all goes crazy. And then you drink it, because it's retaining the memory of the 528 tuning fork. I've got a friend, what she does, she gets a singing bowl. She puts water into the bowl. Well, not mine, because look at the colour inside it. But um, she puts water in hers, does a singing bowl. So the vibration of the water goes through and retains as a memory in the water within the singing bowl. And then guess what she does? Drinks it. Be careful that there's no chemicals or anything else in that water and that your bowl's clean, okay? All right, and the last thing I've got here is to raise our vibration. Get out your favorite song. <clears throat> My favorite song is Cashmere by Led Zeppelin. do 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 Look at me, I'm already boo doo boo boo I'm already getting the energy up just by doing those chords. Do 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 And I'm now singing the song in my head. Oh, wow, wow. I'm now la la lifting myself up. Okay, one of my other favorite songs is It's My Life by Bye Jovi. Okay, it's my life, it's now or never. I ain't gonna live forever, or however the song goes. Okay. But you raise yourself up. Look at my energy right now. It's starting to pump. Okay? So think of all your favorite things. You know, you think of Peter Pan. Where did Peter Pan go? He goes to his happy thoughts. And then when he gets his happy thought in his head and he remembers and he puts himself into that situation where he's now attached energetically to that memory, he can start doing magical things. He can fly. So you get out whatever it is that reminds you of that happy thought. Mine, I love Santa because Christmas is gorgeous. And plus it's red. Uh -huh. So I've got my Santa bell. And it reminds me of all that happiness of Christmas morning when you wake up and there's heaps of presents there as a child. Okay. Or you create that in your head if you never got presents. You think, oh my God, it's Christmas Day. Look at the size of this huge tree with all the white lights and everything sparkling, sparkling. I'm so excited. There's all these presents. Woo -hoo! So you get out all this stuff to give you those happy thoughts because this is what they're trying to take away from us. They want us down. They want us depressed. They want us mental health because as soon as our energy depletes, we start getting sick. So we've got to raise our vibrations up. Think of all your happy thoughts. Think about your favorite song. Think about your favorite clothing. Think about your favorite vehicle. Mine's a 66 red Mustang, by the way. It's got to be automatic. So now I'm imagining my red Ford Mustang in my head, the 1966 flash um, fastback. 
oh my god and i sit here and i think how cool would it be if i'm driving this car so you close your eyes and you imagine that you're sitting inside it now it's left hand drive because it's an american version so I'm on the left hand side and I've got this black steering wheel and I've got the sh- gear shift and I'm going through the gears and I'm thinking how hard could I go down the highway on this? See where my energy's going? It's starting to pump up! Oh my god! So lastly guys, how do we give ourselves a pep talk? You can do this too. Believe that anything is possible. When forces come in that are out of our control, you can tell them to nick off. Use the F word if you want to, okay? Because the pep talk today, guys, is nobody else has the permission or the right to tell you what to do. Stand strong to your beliefs. Get this thing into your head where you say, I am my own power. I am my own energy. I am full of the life that I deserve to be. No one else has a right or permission to tell me what to do. Nobody else can tell me if I'm going to be sad or unwell today. Nobody else has the permission to tell me if I'm going to be sad. Nobody else has the permission or the right to make me anything less than the deserving, worthy loving person that I am and you live those words and you say to yourself you know what she's freaking right I am that strength I am that determination to live up to my values and morals as a human being I can do this and I'm going to say to these people You have no right, no permission to tell me what to do. I stand my ground for I believe I'm doing the right thing in this lifetime. We can all do this with consent. So please give yourself consent, guys. Oh, my energy now is pumped. Santa Claus Two more months to go Two more months to go (laughs) Christmas is coming Yes Feel that excitement Feel it within you And then start breathing it in All that excitement Of what is the goodness of coming Breathe it in, all that love of the white, beautiful, universal energies. Suck it in you so it's coming out of every pore of your body. And you know what happens then? You do leave your house, you go and interact with your neighbours, your co-workers, your family and your friends. And you know what? They feel this energy coming out of you. They go, wow, you're in a good mood today. And you say, yes, I am because I've got the power and the authority to create how I am on the inside. And now it's rippling out of my chest and it's affecting everyone else around me. It's inflicting into them and making them this mirror effect or this reflection of me where this energy is building to everybody around me. Ooh! But only you have the capacity to do it, guys. Please watch how I was sounding at the beginning of the video. Listen to my voice now, the emphasis, the conviction. Do you think I'm going to go and have a great day now? Do you think all that drama I had at 6 o'clock till 8 o'clock this morning is going to affect me now? No way, because now it's gone. Woohoo! We've got this, guys. Stand strong and know I love you. I don't even know you. So why do I love you? Because you deserve it. Have a good day, guys. Talk to you all soon. Bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, 
please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.